Well, right now we're standing in the recently renovated Integrated Science Teaching Lab, which just opened in September 1 of this year. The way we've designed it is to have the benches that we can flip it from a physics lab one day to a chemistry lab the next day. We have a very open concept so that all of our utilities come up from below so that for teaching, TAs or coordinators or anybody can stand at one end of the lab and see right to the other end. It's a safety feature but also it's openness and it keeps the students, uh, it keeps their minds going and that they can see everything that's going on as well. The lab is designed to meet the unique needs of the program itself. We don't teach just one discipline, but we teach numerous disciplines. So biology, earth science, chemistry, physics, and every week the students have different labs. So today they're in a life science lab. Well, it's mainly like cell structure and like the function of the cells. So what we're doing is examining different like um, protists, plants, animal cells, bacteria sort of stuff. So we're all different types of cells. So we'll look at the different structures inside each cell and figure out why each uh, animal has that cell. If I was in a different program, I wouldn't know if I really like doing biology experiments or physics experiments, whereas now I have a chance to try all of them and I'll know, oh, like I really enjoy this lab, so maybe I'll head in that direction. As an educator, you can come into this lab and say, it's a framework for whatever I want to do. Um, if I need gas, I've got gas, I air, vacuum, we have all the utilities in place. You just need to create a lab around it. So it gives you the freedom to experiment and that's a big part of what integrated science is. Um, we develop labs to meet the, the needs of the pedagogy of the program and with this lab, having this infrastructure in place, we can do that. We're not limited by space, we're not limited by fume hoods or lack of water or anything like that. And we designed all those elements into the lab to make sure that the program can move forward and not be limited by any restrictions. Thank you.